Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 12th. I believe it's the new moon, so we could call this a new moon reading, but keep in mind the timing is fluid. Uh, what do we have for a message today? Also, uh, not every reading is for you, so keep that in mind. I will be starting April 15th through the 30th uh, readings for each sign next week. Well, this week. <laughs> Probably on Monday, Tuesday, I will start them. What do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? You know, I was thinking I might do a live here soon too, just a live chat like we used to do. So stay tuned for that. You might want to subscribe if you want to catch it live because uh, I don't know when I'm going to do it. You'll get the notification if you're subscribed. Um, and I don't it's up to you. Anyhow, uh, what do we have for a message today? Well, okay. Uh, four of Wands, or even it landed right in position. That doesn't happen very often. Four of Wands reversed. Now that is unhappiness, lack of commitment. Uh, this party is over. This is uh, dissatisfaction, dissatisfied. Um, there's a foundation that probably isn't all that happy. Four of Wands reversed. Somebody is unprepared for something. There's probably going to be an argument in the future about something that has to do with the home or the commitment or the family. Uh, there's some sort of lack of commitment. Somebody's not putting in much effort. They, they're not having fun. This isn't fun anymore. This isn't no fun. Um, hmm. King of Wands. King of Wands is action oriented. Oriented. Uh, we have a decision maker here that is very passionate. Look at that. We have a lamp right here. This is a light bulb moment. It is. I've never noticed the lamp in this card. So, you know, there is some sort of light bulb moment. Some There is. Somebody is, and this is an, a new drive, a new desire. He's got the Ace of Wands in his hand. So this person is seeing something. This is a visionary. Uh, we have somebody here that is seeing something about their commitment. They may be making a decision. They may get this a sudden uh, epiphany or something the, the, it's like the light comes on you know what i mean they, they it is this person is very educated we have somebody here that is uh very this person is intelligent very intelligent looks like this is this is a planner this person is putting some sort of plans in action they've been thinking about it trying to make the right decision and they're getting some sort of clarity, okay? There is clarity because when the light comes on, you know, everything is seen very clearly. This is coming out of a dark period. We have somebody here that is coming out of a dark period. They've been thinking about, it looks like, it feels like this is a map of some sort. They've been thinking about going someplace, they're in an unhappy commitment, 
It's not fun anymore. And they have a desire for a new... This is somebody that is very adventurous, you know, that is looking for a new adventure, that is looking for passion. And this, this person typically just goes for it, acts impulsively, but I feel like this person has a lot of uh, knowledge behind their map, back. Okay, I was going to say map. There's something about a map here. I don't know what the map has to do with, but for some reason I want to say map. This is on fire. So somebody is on fire. They have a strong desire to do something. And right now there's no growth or there's been no growth. So action is going to be taken in some way. Action is going to be taken. This guy acts. This person acts. This is somebody that is very creative, intelligent, decisive, that is given to take action because they are in an unhappy foundation. Fours are about foundations. And it was fun at first, but there's no more growth. This is, this is a person that is in a position of authority. This could be a boss that is making a decision. I'm the boss. I'm going to do what I want to do. There could be a breakup here. There could be a separation with four of wands reversed. This is, this is a messy situation by the looks of things. Oh, Hierophant reverse. This is about a commitment. This is about a commitment, a marriage, a partnership of some sort. There's uh... Well, we have an unhappy commitment here, period. And I feel like this person has been having a hard time doing the right thing, perhaps because of society. This could be a father figure, you know, or somebody that is in definitely in a position of authority that has been socially driven in the past. They weren't following their gut. They weren't listening. They may have even listened to some poor advice, maybe from a father figure or uh, something to do with their father in the past. You know, they, maybe they, they're taking on their father's ways or something like that. Anyway, there's, there's a need to take action and go after happiness and go after what you want. And we have somebody that is probably going to do that. I, I feel like there's, there's, there's a broken relationship here. There's commitment problems. Somebody doesn't want to be in the commitment that they're in whether this is with a love relationship or a job or something like that. But society has has caused this person to stay because that's the hero font reverse. This is uh, social pressure. We have somebody here that is under a lot of social pressure. And I feel like um, there is some sort of I don't know if there's public embarrassment here. We may have somebody here that was worried about that and that's why they stayed in this commitment that they were in um, but I do think that there's going to be some sort of uh, light bulb moment where somebody uh, does something the opposite of what they have been doing they're going to do something completely opposite you know this is I think this is like a new a new uh, going down a new path Four of Cups. Woo! We definitely have a lot of discontent here. We have somebody here that is no longer interested in somebody that is trying to get their attention. This per not interested. Completely not interested. And they're not interested because... It feels like they don't want to be in the commitment anymore. It feels like they're focusing on something else. There could be third-party interference. That's why this person is no longer interested. This person, there is somebody, and I think, I don't know if it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could also be a Taurus. There is, uh, we could also have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. There is somebody that is wanting to have a relationship with a person that is no longer 
wanting or isn't interested in commitment, isn't interested in uh, putting in effort into this foundation. And it could be because there's another option. They've got the Three of Cups here, down here. That's third-party interference. There could be, you know, I don't know if it's a father that is a problem. It could also be uh, a poor advice from another person. It could also be another lover, honestly. I do believe that uh, we have somebody here that is a very... Well, that Ace of Wands, there's strong desire for something more, for something more passionate. You know, and but there's a commitment that is holding them back, and they're being approached or summoned or whatever you want to call it by a person that they're not interested in, and they're not interested because they have. A, I feel like they have another option, and I know that we've been talking about this a lot. Ace of Swords. So this is a taking a new approach. It's a new idea. It is an awakening. Okay, this is a wake up call. This is communication. Some this is a this is a light bulb moment, and this is a wake up call. We have an individual here that is uh, going to be uh, taking a new approach. This person is going to be taking a new approach. They're going to be. Uh, opening up, communicating their feelings by the looks of things, because this is about feelings after they've ignored their feelings. And I feel like they've ignored their feelings because of a commitment that they were attached to. Ace of Swords is the raw truth. It is taking the power and telling the truth and being honest. Somebody's about to do something. They're about to do something... Uh, and it may have to do with, uh, it may hurt, okay, because the swords cut, they cut like a knife, you know, this, this hurts, it could, I think it is going to hurt, I do think it's going to hurt, I feel like, but it's, but, but this person that is pursuing them, uh, also needs to be honest with themselves because I feel like honesty, this is about honesty, it's about truth, it's a wake-up call. We have somebody here that is pursuing an individual that is not interested. This person is not interested because they have another option that they are passionate about. And there is some sort of... need to be honest and upfront and and believe what the truth is this is lack of believing we have somebody here that is feels like they're in denial it feels like we got this person that is in denial they're trying to it's like they're waiting for this person to notice them when the truth is this person is not interested they're not interested in the commitment. They don't want to be in the commitment. They want to go in a different direction. Oh, my God. Oh, God. So we have somebody here that is holding on to a commitment from the past or co some sort of commitment where this is, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. And then there's, there's a need to wake up, wake up, wake up. This is wake up. It is. Oh, my God. Somebody has received poor advice from somebody that has their own agenda about a commitment. You know, somebody may have been sold, you know, something that isn't a reality. Anyhow, action needs to be taken. 
somebody isn't interested in commitment. There could be some unfaithfulness here as well with the Hierophant reverse. There's relationship problems. We have a broken relationship, a broken marriage. There's no reconciliation. There's no reunion. And we have somebody here that needs to wake up. That is exactly what we got. Oh my God. Ace of Swords. This is a new idea, a new truth. Be honest. Be honest with yourself. Accept the truth. Somebody needs to accept the truth. There's no reason to commit to something or somebody that is not interested. Wake up. This is the Ace of Wands right here. This is this is a exciting new opportunity. There could be a new partner here. It could be a new sexual partner here that is more exciting, that is more passionate, that could grow into something. But we have somebody here that is hanging on to a commitment. This is unrequited love. It is unrequited love. It is. Somebody needs to take their power back. They need to be honest with themselves and they need to wake up and stop listening to poor advice. Good luck. <laughs>